kayaking archer here. Um, got something a little bit different for you. It's not kayaking, it's not archery. Um, when I was in college, I was an L ed major, uh, elementary education. And to this day, which is a considerable, considerable number of years later, um, every now and then I get into this kick of looking up what curriculums uh, people are using in the schools, you know, homeschoolers, that kind of thing. Well, it's very easy right now to do that. You just go on YouTube. So um, there's a lot of talk about Common Core. And so this year, I just, all of a sudden it occurred to me, well, why not just look into it for yourself? And it's always bugged me that in high school, I did so poorly in geometry. Barely made it through. So, and I know that's a common problem, but anyways, I thought there's your avenue for exploration. So I thought, well, don't jump straight into geometry, do some review. So these two books, um, this series, Everything You Need to Know to Ace Math, uh, it's an excellent series. Um, I decided to grab one of those and I started working through it uh, March 7th and decided I needed um, some workbook review because each one of their chapters has like 10 questions at the end of it. Um, so it's kind of pretty quick. Um, you know, not in-depth workbook work if you wanted more, I don't know, workbook type exercises. So um, I don't like to order things online. So I went over to Barnes and Noble and grabbed the Spectrum workbooks. Uh, first I started with grade seven and worked my way through that one. Um, you can kind of see here. Um, it got me that you can see here there's one, two, two check what you learned to check what you know. So you get to the end of each section and there's two test pages, then there's two pre-test pages. So yeah, there's a lot of um, pre-test and post-test and that kind of thing. And just on an aside, I don't remember so much emphasis on area and perimeter and volume. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so then I picked up grade eight and there seemed to be a big jump in, um, I don't know, technical aspect from the seventh to eighth grade for the spectrum. Uh, but I worked my way through that, mostly. I'm still not quite done with it, but anyways, I was ready to move on. So yeah, I would say these are serviceable. Um, if you've got a kid that needs review, if you're an older adult that wants to review, um, you can do that. But, um, yeah, went with those. And I finished that the end of April. So then I segued over to everything you need to ace geometry in one big fat notebook. Um, I also picked up, don't want to break my glasses, um, a spark chart. At Barnes and Noble. Um, then at first I had looked online and I was looking for a spectrum geometry high school level. And I picked this up at a um, United Art Education. So it says grades eight plus. And I thought to myself, it looks pretty skinny. And I started flipping through it. And you can see it's, it's serviceable. Um, but yeah. It actually only goes out of this whole book. Yep, 
yeah, a hundred. Not quite even, I'd say a hundred pages of this is actual workbook. Then you go into all the solutions and answer key and that kind of thing. And I looked on the back when I got home and it said an essential supplement to classroom instruction. Oh yeah, that explains it. This is a teacher's book, which you can use, I suppose, as a regular workbook. Um, yeah, as needed review. So I'm not sure that it's meant to be a full, full on workbook. So I wish Workman Press had a workbook that went with this. They have a workbook that goes with the middle school math one. Um, if I had known that when I was getting this, I would have gotten the workbook version because it's just sort of an expanded version of the textbook. But anyway, so that's the Spectrum, uh, Carson DeLosa, grades 8 plus. Um, like I said, perfunctory, kind of skinny, you know, 100 pages of workbook review. So then I picked up the Kumon grade 6 to 8th intro to geometry and then geometry. Now I had heard on reviews on uh, YouTube that they are more advanced. So I started looking through them at the store and I thought, whoa, this is nice. So you can kind of see here, there's a big difference in the quality of the um, the presentation of the material. Um, yeah, just a big difference. I mean, they're slicker, so they've got a totally different feel, literally. And the interesting thing was I discovered after I got it, sorry if it's jiggling so much, um, I discovered, it looks like this is one workbook well, it's not, because this is work, workbook one, 43 um, pages, uh, like here's seven, then you go to eight, and then in the middle of the book, you get to 40, 41, Here's your keys, your answer section to the first workbook. And then look at this, a whole second workbook. And it um, emphasizes different topics. So yeah, so it's amazing. And this whole workbook is almost 200 pages. I mean, some of it's key, answer key in the back. But that's the intro to geometry. I really appreciate um, that they have constructions, which turns out I'm really enjoying. So I'm starting to think I might get into sacred geometry. But anyways, there's there's lots of reviews, and it's it states on here that it's meant to be done self-study. So, you know, looking back to the answer key is not a bad thing. Um, and they have different levels, like there you, three, you see three stars, then you go back, there's two stars. You go back further and it goes to one star. So it has varying abilities in this book. So that's the intro to geometry. Um, I haven't even touched, because I'm still on the first section of this book, which is basically review, and it starts right out with exercises on proofs and fill in the blank. So that's great. I don't know if they have constructions. Congruence. 
I can't see if they have constructions. Maybe that's an emphasis that's always in the first part. Don't know. Oh, ratios. <laughs> but anyways... Parallel lines, dilations, review, that's the end of the first workbook. Then you go into the second workbook. Got to get that Pythagorean theorem in there. Wouldn't want to forget that. But here's the second part of the book. Calculation of square root. Oh boy. Anyways, yeah, so I really like these uh, Kumon books. I know it says grades 6 through 8, but like I said before, I think they're known for being um, advanced. And so in my mind, they look awfully similar to this one, which states it grade, it's grade 8 plus, which is high school. And that looks pretty simple, in, at least in presentation. So I would think if you'd have somebody that was having issues this would be helpful. Or if you're an older adult and want to review your math. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend these. Like I said, the Carson DeLosa Spectrum stuff is serviceable. It's just not as polished as these. And I will say, <laughs> to my dismay, I have found errors in every single book. Which has been kind of surprising. So, yeah. So if you're a student, if you're working through it, or if you have a student working through it, and they start racking their brain time trying to figure out why something isn't working out, double check. Have them double check and don't just assume that it's their error. Because, um, yeah, there were several times I was going crazy and I discovered... No, oh, no, the book was wrong. So anyways, there you have it. A quick review of Carson DeLosa Grade 8 Plus Geometry Workbook and the Kumon Workbooks. So hope it helps. Thank you.